keeping it in context. This is Brother Elsie coming back at you one more time. And today I like to look at a passage of scripture that comes out of 3 John chapter 1, verse 11. Listen to these words as I read it in the English Standard Version. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. And what I like to share about this particular passage of scripture is about behavior that's unacceptable inside of our local church. And so to get the background of what's going on here, you have three people that are mentioned in this third John in this first chapter, and there's only one chapter. It's, it's like an extended or long postcard. Um, and the first person is Gaius. And Gaius is, is mentioned, and he is commended for the love that he had towards the brethren. And then the second person is Diotrephes, and that's the English pronunciation of that. And Diotrephes is actually uh, admonished, uh, condemned, in a sense, by the Apostle John of his behavior. And then the third person mentioned is Demetrius. And Demetrius is commended for how he treats the brethren. So what is it about this passage of scripture? Why is it titled, Keep It In Context? Well, there are some behaviors that are acceptable in our local church and there are some behaviors that are unacceptable. Just as the Apostle John wrote about in 1 John about Cain and Abel, he said, do not be like Cain. Uh, when you talk about the offerings that they brought to the Lord, the Lord only had regard for Abel's offering, but he had no regard for Cain's offering. And it goes on to say, because his works were wicked, so here it is when we look at this, verse 11, Beloved, do not imitate evil. So we are given an example in this passage of scripture on godly behavior, which Gaius displayed to the brethren, to the brethren who were traveling. Um, they could have been missionaries or they could have just been relocating, but they were in Christ and he was hospitable towards them. What is being hospitable? Hospitable is being loving, kind, generous, um, sharing what you have, taking your shirt off your back if they don't have a shirt, those type of things. And it said in this passage of scripture that the, the brethren did not have to go to the people outside of the church, but the local church took care of them and they were commended for that. But then we get to Diotrephes. Diotrephes did the complete opposite. Uh, what he did is he put himself, he thought he was bigger than everyone. Uh, he put himself before everyone. Um, he did not acknowledge the authority of the Apostle John. John wrote to them on how to behave, and so he refuted that authority. And so John said, I'm going to deal with him. I'm going to come along when I get a chance to go there, and we're going to talk to him. Because he did what, what the King James say, practin, practin, P-R-A-T-I-N-G. Um, and the ESV, it reads, talking wicked. You know, and so that's what practicing, practicing is. It's being full of words, but not having substance. It's, it's you have so much to say, but you're going against what God has to say. We do not repay evil for evil. We don't talk maliciously against an individual. Um, and so this is what he began to do. But going back to the verse, beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. And so it's a contrast between good and evil. And then he goes on in this C part of this verse, whoever does good is from God. So in other words, when you demonstrate the love that our creator has demonstrated towards us, you are of God. However, whoever does evil has not seen God. And so what John is saying is that a person has not had that experience that encounter with God have not seen is, is not talking like um, uh, just seeing with the eyes 
But the concept there is when you know for sure, when what, what you see lines up uh, mentally, it's, it's a knowledge, it's a knowledge, it's, it's a sin that only God can give you. And so keeping it in context is important because this helps us um, to understand how we are, are to behave in the household of God. Peace.